Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so much for joining me for another video. And if you're brand new here, welcome to my channel. Here you're gonna find videos on property, home decor, lifestyle, and pretty much everything that fits in between. Firstly, I'm gonna have to ask you to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a new video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Today's video is all about how to style your bookshelf or your bookcase. As you can see behind me, so in my previous video I did a home decor haul and I picked up a few um, really cool bits and pieces and essentially I'm going to show you how I style them on my bookshelf. Oh and disclaimer, I know you can see the brown underneath, the way the camera is positioned, you can see that but on a normal day to day when you're walking around you can't see it so yeah just ignore that. Okay, so first things first, you want to pick out the bookshelf or the bookcase for your space. So if you take a look at this bookcase, it's not like your typical straight bookshelf and that's what I really liked about it. I really liked the fact that I could put pieces in here that were different heights and different dimensions and I feel like it just looks more interesting to the eye instead of seeing things like completely level. And also another thing that was really important for me was the colour. So I really wanted to make sure that it would fit within my space. And so I wanted to get a black bookshelf because my space at the moment is very neutral and I wanted a bit of black just to bring a bit of depth into the space. However, when I first got this bookcase, it did have um, brown shelves. And essentially what I did is I used some contact paper, um, covered the shelves with the contact paper to give it this kind of like marble effect. I could have got a bookcase that was already black and already had the marble shelves, but the prices that I was seeing, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really prepared to spend three to 400 pounds on one bookshelf and I knew I wanted two for my space. So, this bookshelf I got from Wayfair for about £125 and I thought that was such a good deal. The contact paper was about £6 so altogether that was just over £130. And I got the bookcase that I was after so that was great. The cool thing about bookshelves is that they help you to switch up your style and switch up the space whenever you want. So I'm going to show you how I've styled it currently but it's definitely not going to stay like this. I pretty much change my bookshelves every few weeks like i'll be looking at it and i'll be thinking yeah i don't like this anymore i want to switch it up but this is why i really wanted to bring a bookcase into the space because it helps me add a bit more personality to the space instead of having this blank wall um, i'm able to put in pieces that i really like that i really um, enjoy to look at and it just adds a bit more character to the space okay so i've zoomed you in a little bit just so that you can see um everything that i'm going to be talking about on these shelves so i'm going to start off with the top shelf so the focal point for this shelf is this plant pot which i got from h&m it's a really nice neutral piece um, but instead of having it just standing on its own i put it on top of some stacked vogue magazine it gives it a bit more height and the vogue magazines just gives it that chic kind of feel to it as well and then right next to it, I've got the candle holder and the two mini vases that I got from H&M. But these are next to the plant pot, mainly to contrast. So you've got a color contrast, but then you've also got the height contrast as well. Um, and I think the whole kind of colorway of the gold and the black and the neutral, um, it goes really well together and it goes with kind of my, my vibe and my style. So I really like this top shelf the way it looks. Okay, so on the next shelf you can see my Tom Ford book and then stacked on top of that I have two candle holders and my Jo Malone candle. So the vibe I was going for here was a bit more simple and so height was really important on the previous shelf whereas here I wanted to keep it quite low but then still add a bit of dimension with the candlestick holders and then again still tying in that monochrome theme so I've got the neutral candlestick holders with the cream candle itself and then that's stacked on top of my Tom Ford book. I feel like this book is just quintessential with like home decor. If you're into home decor you either own it or you want to own it. It is a great piece. I would highly recommend it. If there's ever just one like piece of home decor that I would recommend you buy it would definitely be this book. So as you can see as this shelf is starting to take form you don't want to have too many pieces competing with each other. You want to make sure that there's some sort of 
of cohesion so whether that be a color cohesion whether it's the style so if you just wanted to have books on the bookshelf or you just wanted to have vases or if you just wanted to have candlestick holders if there's some sort of theme going on then it makes the whole bookshelf look a bit more cohesive so as you can see i'm building this up you've got blacks you've got neutrals um you've got high pieces you've got low pieces so it adds depth and dimension but still looks like it all goes together so for the next shelf you can see here i have my vase the tall face vase from h&m home and then next to it i have my faux books stacked as well so as you can see there's a theme running along through the bookcase so these stacked vogue magazines again add that chic feel to the bookcase and then it also adds in that sense of cohesion um, with the entire bookcase itself and then next to it I have the face bars and then in the face bars I have some eucalyptus or well, actually it's fake eucalyptus from where is it from from Ikea I wasn't too sure on it as you can see like I don't know if you can see but the tags are still on it I'm not too sure because as you will see I will be adding a plant into this bookshelf and I don't know if it's just too much green going on um, I'm contemplating getting some pampas grass so watch this space I may switch these out but for now I think um, adding that pop of green um, it just brightens up the bookcase a little bit more okay so i've just zoomed out just so you can see how it fills the space so the shape of the bookcase there's a really tall section where you can put something like really tall like i said i may be putting some pampas grass in there but the eucalyptus just helps fill in that space it brings color and a bit more texture to the bookcase so for now i'm, I'm feeling it I'm, I'm not too mad at it but again watch this space i may be switching it out so on this shelf I have two candlestick holders that were in my H&M haul and then I also have this um, sand timer that I got from Ikea and then here I've also got I buy a really low candle box and I just thought these pieces looked really cute together again they're tying in the monochromatic theme that I have going on as well as adding a touch of gold which is another key accent colour of mine so yeah I'm really happy with this shelf on the bottom shelf you can see that I have a gold plant pot that was in my haul that's from made.com and inside it I have to be fair I don't really know what the plant is a really dear friend of mine gave it to me as a housewarming gift um, but I yeah it's just a cute plant again I really like adding greenery into the space because it's such a natural neutral color and then it also just helps with my space because emerald green is um, one of my key accent colors so that just ties in a lot of the colors that are working in the space because the stand is also black and then next to it I have a larger plant pot I'm just gonna pan it up so I have this larger plant pot I got it as a gift uh, the plant pot was also a gift so I'm not sure where you'd find that from but I might try and link um, an alternative in the description box but I really love this plant I think it adds so much character and depth to the space. So that wraps up today's video. I hope you found it really useful, really helpful and please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. Make sure to share it with your friends as well for any inspo and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.